as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we saved Gerudo Town from the Sand Shroud by defeating the Gibdo Queen in the Lightning Temple. But now we're back here in Gerudo Town. Things are looking better than ever. I figure we'll just sort of run around to see if there's any side quests we can do and just sort of help everybody out. Uh, hi, Riju. I will do my best to learn more of what is happening with Zelda before we meet again. Make sure to come back and visit. Oh, and don't forget, even when I cannot be by your side, you can always call on my power as a sage. I definitely will. But I'm sure there's gonna be people all over the place we can sort of chat with, maybe even some side quests to start. Um, what do they mean? Oh. This is the chief's beloved sand seal, Patricia. Oh, there you are. Hi, Patricia. She is no ordinary sand seal, though. Patricia is actually something of an oracle. Please, offer her some fruit. In return, she'll share a reading with you. Mm. Though if you give her splash fruit, you'll almost certainly get a strange number-filled reading. I can only assume that the brilliance of those readings is simply beyond our understanding. Okay. So I walk up to you and give you a splash fruit? I mean, if you want. Here, we can grab one. Uh, hold. And do I just give it to you or just drop it? There you go. That didn't work. Uh, can I talk to you? Well, maybe I gotta put it into here. Okay, let's try this. Wait, no, do not eat it. Eat it. We'll hold it and drop. Is that what you wanted? I don't think I chuck it at you. That'd be a little rude. Oh no, here you come, here you come. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Uh, can I take a picture of you too? Patricia gets her own entry. That's so cool. All right, Patricia, do your thing. How is it? How is it? Uh, oh. A number sequence. Sequence. A number sequence. Negative 3,888, negative 2,972, 0033. So these are coordinates. I wonder if I should like write these down. So I wonder what we can find at those specific coordinates, because we can find those on the map. That was the reading Patricia gave. Oh. Just what did these numbers mean? I've been her attendant for a long time, but even I am stumped by them. I can only assume that the brilliance of those the, those readings is simply beyond our understanding. Well, I think I might understand them. As you can see in the bottom right there, you can see our coordinates and we're not too far off. Uh, They're usually like an X, Y, Z kind of thing. So moving one way will make one rise. So if I move this way, you can see that the leftmost number is rising up. 3855. So if we were to quite a high wall to climb, but I'm really curious now. I'm really, really curious. 3863. So it would be a little bit farther out. And we get a good look at the desert from here. There's a, a shrine I need to do over there. I guess I should probably mark it then. Oop, got it. And let's take a look around then. Uh 3885. So it's negative three. Oh, oh! Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Riju's thing. Now that we're out of Gerudo Town, we can see it. Riju's vow has granted you the power to summon her avatar. Awesome, so now we have all four of those. We're at negative three, eight, 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 eight. Now we need to sort of figure out the other direction. So we're at negative three, oh, three, four. If we go this way, it's going down, which is exactly what we want. So we just sort of need to run in this direction for a little bit until we're at negative two, nine, seven, two, I believe. So let's try this. I'm just so curious to see what this will end up doing. Uh, we're at 2982, so 10 more pieces or whatever. 2973, and 72. So it would be below us, but right here, right? Well, actually, while I've been doing that, I went a little bit up, I guess. Yeah, it's tough to sort of keep on everything. Sorry, I keep pulling it back up. Oh, you know what, on the bottom right, I'm just now noticing on the map itself there, it also has it, so. Maybe I'm getting a little too carried away with that. So 2972. Oh, this thing is so tricky to get right, though. Huh. I'll have to keep messing around with it. But it looks like maybe actually more so over here. Is it gonna be in the tippity top of this? Oh, it actually might. Huh. Let's try getting up from here then. 
It might be at the tippity top of this. What is it supposed to be even highlighting? You know what I mean? Like, I have no clue. Uh, but this will maybe give us an idea because the zero zero thirty three is definitely our height. Exit here. Oh, this is way too high up. So we're almost at the... Here, so going this way is not what I want. I need to go this direction. It's so tricky because I just, I move one way and it sort of messes up the other way. I'll keep messing around with it. We'll, we'll find it sooner or later. It's right here. Negative 388-2972-0033. Is it this? Could it be this? Is this what it's trying to do? It may be an object of vast historical significance until I unlock its mysteries, whatever they are. I don't want anyone to touch it. Maybe it's just trying to tell me that I can find these? This is not gonna be like anything fancy above me. Maybe if I find all of those, something will happen. Okay, good to know. Sorry, that was maybe just a big waste of time. But we only need one more of those stones. There's only one more I haven't discovered. So is anyone even down here anymore? Or are they all just sort of back at the surface? Oh, you're still in here. Aklet, I'm so sorry. Oh. This is the jail, even though you have special permission to be in Gruta Town, I still want you past this point. Really, the only way into jail is to break the rules. I know that, and I already got to the jail, oh. so everyone has gone back into town, but I'm stuck here on guard duty, keeping watch on this foe. Ugh, stupid foe. Maybe now that we've saved Gerudo Town, we can make progress with that, and yeah, nobody else is in here. Very peculiar situation. Not, not even Aklet. Okay, back out here then. Wait, what's up there? Ooh, we got some stuff up there. I don't know what it is. Is it just mushrooms? No, it's rock salt. Grab a little bit more, because why not? Oh, I think there's amber up there or something, so maybe I can climb this ladder. Oh, no, even better, it's a topaz. And what is this? Wait a minute. This is one of the squigglies. Hold on, we found way over here. Oh, hello. Is this Aklet? Secret, secret. You're a vote person, just like daddy. Hey, guess what? I'm going to look at the secret map. Gotta go, I'll see you later. Uh, Okay, we'll catch up to you in just a second. I'm like unraveling all sorts of secrets here in Gerudo Town. This matches with one of the symbols that we saw over somewhere. Where was that? I'll put it down for a second. I don't remember exactly where it was. Let's see the secret that you're marveling at here. I'm so confused though. Uh, so can you tell me about this? <laughs> Mommy's job is a secret. That's why this is a secret map. Let's see, there's the fruit store and then there's the jewel store. Um, What was this moon part again? I don't know. Um, I guess I should take a picture of this, huh? Um, this might make more sense now that everything is back out on the surface. I don't know what the moon store is. Okay, back out this way. Where was this thing? Uh, oh, does it? If we can get these all together. Where was it? Was it this just this thing? No, it wasn't. There was another one I found that matched up with all those symbols. I just don't remember exactly where it was. Here it is, so it's in this room. Maybe if we got them all together or match them up somehow. I mean, I've only found those two so far, so we'd have a lot more to discover. Because we found that one there. Interesting. So it just feels like there's a lot more secrets to find here in Gerudo Town. Some of them like aren't even technically like a side quest being started, which is interesting. But I do see these sand piles. Maybe I can flap some of them away. Nothing out of that one. This has got to have something. No, it doesn't. Weird. Anything under all this? Not really. So yeah, we'll have to figure this out at some point for sure. But I guess there's more of the upper part of Gerudo Town still left to discover. Oh, it looks like they're having the lesson. Uh, I wish I spoke louder. It's no use. I can't hear anything they're saying from here. I just wanted to listen in, to, in on the Voenu class and learn a bit. But if I go into the classroom, Mrs. Shy will definitely see me and kick me out. I even thought hiding the, with the vote dummies in there would fool her, but my outfit looks different from theirs, and, and she spotted me. Maybe I can find a way to hide in the classroom without being so obvious? I guess. Uh, hi. My Vava said it was okay if I talked to you. 
That means I don't have to hide my face anymore. Yay! Aww. But also, Miss Oshai said it's still not okay, so maybe we can keep this a secret? Uh-oh. Huh? Hey, hold on a minute. You may have really helped out the town, but I'd rather you didn't speak to my students, okay? If you have any questions about this class, talk to me. Huh? So this is when we usually have the class for the younger students. You might not know this, but it's something of a rule in Gerudo Town that young Vi don't speak with Vau. Since this class is for young Vi, I can't let you come in. You're more than welcome to come to the class in the evening. It's just this one that is off limits. <laughs> the guards will have to lock you up if you get caught breaking our laws, and no one wants that, right? Okay, I'm a little confused about a couple of things, but what I think what I'm supposed to do is buy some of the, the, no, no, not that, <laughs> the Vi gear and then stand there at the right time. So not right now, but some other time. Because I don't have enough rupees to buy that outfit for sure. I know it's an expensive one. So let's just explore around here a bit more. We talked to Patricia. She gave us some critics coordinates. And oh, hey, look, it's you, isn't that? Hmm? This is the last place I expected to find you, courageous one. I came to investigate the local geoglyph, but the sandstorm scuttled my plans. Now that it has finally died down, I intend to resume my search. Mm -hmm. There is also the matter of the temple at the bottom of the canyon in Hebra. Kato has been studying the relevant literature and is certain that it will lead us in our search for the geoglyphs. Clearly, we must investigate this forgotten temple. That is definitely something I want to do. Maybe soon now that we've got all the um, phenomena out of the way. No. Blonde, no abs, not a vi. Normally, we don't let foe pass through here, but in your case, Ooh. it may pass. The idea of a Vo walking around the throne room would normally be preposterous, but I will allow you inside any time. Is it, it is what the chief wants after all. Okay, I'll go. Ah. I hope that you will continue to be a good friend to the chief and to all the Grudo as well. Me too. So there was a few more rooms I can look around in. Maybe we can find a few more other people to talk to. It's really worth it to explore because we could end up starting a few side quests. I don't know if this will say anything new. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, it looks like this says all the same things it did before. Yeah, uh, next page. Let's see, my head is practically spinning from all that's happened after Link arrived here. This is new. I need to write it down to keep it straight. First, there was the battle at the Karakura Bazaar, followed by our defense of Gerudo Town against the Gibdo attack. Then there was the mural underground and the sudden appearance of that massive ancient shrine. We were guided there by a voice we'd come to learn belonged to my ancestor, and we made our way inside. There we fought and defeated the Gibdo Queen. Then the secret stone of my ancestor appeared and I awoke as a sage. My ancestor told me what I must do for my people and for Hyrule, and then the sand shroud disappeared. To think all of that happened after Link came here. The kind of events that follow in his wake are truly amazing. Very cool. So glad we got like a little, almost like an addendum to the end of it. So I'm not seeing too much else to do around here, but it was still cool to catch up on the diary, even though I guess it's technically none of our business. That doesn't really seem to bother Link at all. Let's head out here. This is of course the big training ground. We caught up with most of you, didn't you? Didn't we? Um, it's getting back to normal. Everyone in town is grateful for your help putting things right here. Sark so. You know, we'd previously shut down our training area due to the sand shroud. Sudri was thrilled when we reopened it. I'm sure she'd welcome you there if you decided to drop by. The training area is out near the southern oasis. If you're heading there, I'd suggest going out through the east gate. You can also ask the gatekeeper for help. Will do. And it looks like we do also have another Grudo bow if we need it, which I don't think we do. Your coordination with Lady Riju was impressive. Not bad for a Hylian bow. There aren't that many Garuda who use a bow and arrow, so you really were valuable in the battle. Oh. Up till now, I've been training extra hard with the spear with Bobby, but maybe it's time we form a bow and arrow unit. Yeah, I do remember talking oh. to you about this. So I don't know if there'll be too much new here then. They're sort of, sort of still hanging out. Mm. It seems we've won, at least for now, but just visualizing how that battle was going to go wasn't nearly enough. Yeah, so they don't have anything new to say. We'll skedaddle out of this room. Looks like they're not setting up any extra classes in here, even though the area is a lot more inhabitable. Okay, what's going on around here? Ooh, this might be where things get interesting. We got ourselves a little um, sand seal rentable area. I'm glad I sent her back to, to Frelly over to, at the East Gate. 
What a pain she was. I wonder if she figured out how to reach her destination. Hmm? Masak. Ah, the sock. Welcome to the Sand Seal Rental Shop. Mm. I can't get so carried away with cleaning. I'm not just an assistant anymore. I've been entrusted with this shop, so I need to do my absolute best. Unlike the wild sand seals, ours have been expertly trained. They're calm, well-behaved, and adorable. They can also carry things for you if you hook them up to a sleigh. Mm. It's 20 rupees to rent one without a sleigh and 50 to, rent, 50 to rent one with a sleigh. I think I'm good for now. We also rent sand seals from the East Gate, so visit us there too. Oh, I wonder if that stranger is still over there too. Oh, and then there's another guard. Come on in. Oh, it's you. Don't worry, you can come and go as you please. Now that the sand shroud has cleared up, you can really appreciate the beauty of the desert. Just look at that view. When I want to relax, I rent a sand seal from the rental shop over there and explore the desert. Because of you and the chief, it's safe to go out and really appreciate the desert scenery. I'm glad. Oh yeah, and then there's these statues, which I think we use these to get to different places in Breath of the Wild, right? If I'm not mistaken. Very cool. Anything else to do around here? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, what was the moon shop? We have a couple of shops around here I think we need to poke around with. Um, oh, sorry to bother you while you're sleeping. I'm really only just getting over my last relationship. I thought it would be easy to turn my back on the past, but the sand shroud showed up right when I didn't need it. Mm. My luck with Bo is terrible. So it's you again, still sad. Hopefully somebody can help you soon. Okay, so I think that's about it there. Let's go back through the center area just because I really wanna see, you know, there's one secret something. We need to help out the guy in jail. That's what I'm mostly worried about. Uh, so yeah, check out all the shops that are here. It looks like we have mostly the same stuff around here. Hi. It really is nice to be back out under the sun again. The view is what makes Gerudo Town so special. And there should be more customers too. Now that now's the time to really go all out. I heard the new big thing is attaching all kinds of stuff to arrows before you shoot them. So I've really stocked up. You don't see a shop this hip very often, am I right? I've realized I need to be more accepting of change. And that includes accepting Vo like you. Thank you. You browsing or buying? I'm browsing. It's all freshly grilled. Ooh. Zavat. Oh, Hylian. In that case, ne me no. That's not right. Hmm. Oh. Hello? Is, is, that's it, right? It's it's hello. <laughs> I traveled the world a long time ago. That's how I learned so much about difference, differences between our languages. The upheaval has put a stop to that, though. I can feel my encyclopedic knowledge of language slipping away. Ah. But hey, that the sound shroud cleared up. Maybe the upheaval will follow suit. I hope that's the case. I heard a new kind of creature was recently discovered, and I'd love to see it. One day I'll be able to travel. I should start saving now so I can hit the road the moment it's not so dangerous. New kind of creature? Before the upheaval happened, a tra traveler mentioned it to me. A new kind of creature was discovered in Farron. I heard they're keeping some at the lakeside stable. If you wanted to go to get to Farron from here, you just have to head east and keep going and going and going. A new creature, pretty good reason to travel there, yeah? I wouldn't hunt it, of course. To kill a brand new discovery without a second thought, no way. Mm -hmm. But as something of a but as something of a hunter, I'd need to see this new meat for, with my own eyes. Er, did I say that? I'm a creature. Hey. Keep buying my sock. The more you buy, the closer I get to traveling again. All right, well, ah. hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. Oh wow, you've got the pronunciation down. What was it in your language? Guai. <laughs> Goodbye. But close enough, that was a good try. Hey. Oh hey, for an overheated body. That's how you greet someone during the day. Did you know that? Have you tried either of the spa plans? Roma speaks for itself, but Olu's is worth checking out too. If you're a bit light on rupees, you can't go wrong. Roma? Uh -huh. The owner of the Hotel Oasis, Roma, is known by Vi the world over. Her special relaxation technique can not only improve the condition of your skin, but it is known to awaken dormant powers inside you for a time as well. <laughs> Originally, I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Now I work here as an assistant. <laughs> Olu's spa plan is pretty good too, but in the end, Roma's is by far the more popular one. Olu? <laughs> Olu is apprenticing under Roma. She's the only Vi who's ever had the opportunity to inherit Roma's special technique, ah. but she's still learning. The effects of her spa plan are a bit less reliable, you might say. The price is more affordable though. If you're in the mood to take a chance, you should give it a shot. Uh -huh. 
It's really rare for a foe to be able to come and go in Gerudo Town, so make the most of it. Savork, well, I think we already have done this back in the uh, the bunker, I guess you could say, but, oh, here's Talma. I think they were out at uh, Karakara Bazaar before. I got here right after the sand shroud died down, but Roma's spa plan is already booked solid. I just want to pamper my skin and body. Excavating is hard work. Huh? My vacation is almost over. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm fine now. Just need to turn that frown upside down. No wrinkles, just have to unfurl my brow, which I do. No sweat, if I could just take advantage of that spa plan. Ugh. Mm. Maybe I'll try out the spa plan from her apprentice, Olu. But from what I've seen, I got the feeling she's more likely to get things wrong than right. Mm. Hey, wait a minute. Does she even offer her spa plan to men? I don't know. I mean, so far she's offered it to me. Let's try going over here. Because I guess that was the moon one? Yeah, okay, so Hi. that makes a bit sense. If we take a look at our picture then in the compendium or the album, like what exactly, oh, I see how this is laid out now, okay. I mean, we already know where the hidden shop is if that's what it's trying to point out. It's right over here, I think. And we got in and we moved the, the thing before, so will we be, be allowed in? Oh, we can be. Hi! Oh, it's so spooky. It's you two again. So I, I do need to catch up with you, Perda. Oh, you're back? I'm surprised the guards haven't found you. Normally they're pretty good at catching intruders. Usually when a Vo tries to sneak into town, he's quickly caught by the guards and thrown into jail. I won't turn you in, of course, but once you're done shopping, you should get out of town before the guards find you. Wow, I see another Hylian Vo and I, all I can think about is my husband. Wabin, what are you up to right now? Sorry, I forgot an important rule of the secret club. Everyone's business is their own. So you really aren't just gonna, so what do I gotta do to get your attention about that? So your husband's fun. in jail. <laughs> Elsewhere, it might have might be Sav Savota or Savak, but here it's always Sav Sava. Oh. When the sand shroud was still around, the town was so quiet, even when I was beginning to feel a little lonely. I normally enjoy alone time, but having someone nearby lately has brought a little peace of mind. I wasn't sure for a while if I wanted to hire Perda, but now I feel like I couldn't go go by, get by without her. What is this place? Oh. This is the Gerudo Secret Club, a secret place that sells clothing designed with Vo in mind. We make it a rule not to pry into our customer's business, but that rule goes both ways. Please don't ask anything more about the shop. Feel free to relax a bit more before you leave. Okay, oh. it looks like you're cleared, cleared away our little barricade. Suppose that's for the best. You got past it in the first place, so it couldn't have been doing that much oh. good. When I hear your footsteps, I'll unlock the door for you. Please don't hesitate to make use of it in the future. Okay, I still can't quite afford any of this stuff. It's very, very pricey, but maybe eventually I can grab some of it. That'd be cool. And let's definitely just keep taking a look around. I'm surprised like not too many of these characters like have side quest markers. Huh? Oh, you're the Vow. Sorry, I don't have time to deal with the Vow right now. All my attention needs to be on the preparing the welcome to welcome the out-of-town Vi. Out-of-town Vi? Oh. Suppose I can tell you after all your situation is unique, as it happens on Gerudo aren't traditionally allowed to interact with foe. And for Vi, born outside of town, when they reach a certain age, they're summoned back to Gerudo town. Oh. Have you seen a little Vi around town? A little Acklet? She's recently arrived here from out-of-town too, along with her mother Perda, mm. but Perda started working at one of the shops, a rather frustrating shop. In any case, we rarely see her out of and about anymore. Uh. I think Aklet misses her a lot. She spends so much time looking at a picture of Perda on the wall in the shelter. Thankfully, this town is like one big family. Everyone is going to look out for her, no matter whose Vevi she is. <sighs> Still, I'm glad the repairs on this place are done. We we should be ready to welcome the new Vi. Yeah, okay. I, I'm just a little confused on how I actually progressed that. Construction and service notes in regards to work in the hole in the floor due to a lack of resources, large stone slab, yep. Update, work has been completed on the hole in the floor. The large stone slab has been moved outside of the house. Please reach out to the construction office with any issues. Cool, so yeah, as you can see, big hole, fixed. And that stone slab is right out here. Uh, I don't know what we could use it for, but it's here. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, what else can we do around here? Uh, we can talk to a few more people. If you're planning to help protect the chief, you best keep your energy up with a hearty meal. <gasps> Mushrooms are perfect for keeping your energy up. You can find them almost anywhere and they're nutri nutrient rich. Get some for yourself for now and later. If you're running a little short on rupees but can't pass on these mushrooms, you can always sell me something first. 
Is it true that you and the chief stopped the sand shroud together? How did it go? Were you two perfectly in sync every step of the way? Thank you for helping her. She deserves all the support you can give. I'm glad I could help. Just trying to keep up with all these merchants. There's so many. With the sand shroud finally dying down, I was able to see my husband at last. Now the store is fully stocked, so buy as much as you'd like. When that sand shroud was at its worst, I thought it might be the end, that I might never see my husband again. It reminded me that every day is priceless and I need to live them to the fullest. That is true for sure. Gotta make the most out of everything. Oh, and there's more people out here. Hi. What? If you're you're here about the cooking class, it isn't being held at the moment. Cooking class? Before the sand shroud settled in, a shy was teaching a cooking class here. You see, you can get really far in life and in love if you have a solid grasp of the essentials of cooking. But she has so many students now that her other class, Vo and you, takes up all her time. Oh. So she opened up this place for everyone to eat, everyone's use. The cookbooks here are really useful too. If you're planning to do any cooking at all, you should definitely give them a read. I definitely will. So I guess we have Chef, Ar Chef Ari Tommy Volume 2. Cooking for success? Sometimes you'll witness incredible success in your cooking adventures. When this happens, the strength and duration of your cooked foods affect will increase well beyond normal. Using more than the usual number of ingredients is a sure way to boost the effects of your food. But I've also heard rumors that the light of the red moon can have a positive effect on your cooking as well. Whoa, I didn't know that. I haven't checked this myself though. I get sleepy in the evening, so I've never seen the, the red moon. Monster extract? Monster extract is an ingredient that boosts the effects of any dish that is has it added to. With just one monster extract, you can raise the power and duration of the effects of your dish. However, you never really know quite how the dish will turn out. Sometimes it will raise the effect by a lot, and other times, well, not so much. However, I, Aritamu, am not a man who relies solely on luck. Fortune in food? There are many in the world who will gladly pay for the dishes a chef creates. A cooked meal can easily sell for more than the individual components you use to make it. And don't forget, the more ingredients you pour into a meal, the greater the value of that meal. That's basic math. Did I learn all of this from experience? No, of course not. I learned it from a friend, a dear friend, who was a great chef. I can't recall his name right now, but he was a friend to be sure. <laughs> Interesting. So that's all for that book. I don't see any others. Oh wait, there's one right here. It cannot be read from here. <laughs> Too short. Okay, uh, what should I do about that then? Um, is there anything I can grab? I can like stand on, oh, here we go. We just need a little boost. Hold on, there you go. <laughs> Much better. Chef Aritama volume one, I guess I should have read this one first. Special effects, most ingredients can imbue their meals with some unique effects. Ingredients that have cold properties can help you resist heat. Ingredients that have hearty properties can fully heal you and grant you temporary bonus vitality. There are many other effects that can be found among ingredients, you just have to experiment. And don't forget, combining ingredients with the same effect may increase the effect's strength or duration. But combining ingredients with different effects may cancel their enhancing effects out, so you must be careful. I, Oritamu, am admittedly quite impatient, so I always have speed increasing hasty foods on hand. Extraordinary elixirs? You can cook up an elixir by mixing a critter part and a monster part together. Elixirs can be made in pots, just like food, and with valuable ingredients, the elixir's effect will get stronger. You can also add acorns or chickaloo tree nuts to impart your elixir with minor, minor hearing, healing properties. Oh, cool. However, I, Oritamu, am deathly afraid of critters and would never th even think of touching them. Fortunately, there are regular meals that you can cook with which will produce the same effects as elixirs. And fairies. It is said that fairies truly do exist in the world, but that they only appear before an individual with a pure soul. One theory suggests that some special kind of cooking might be possible if you use the power of a fairy. I, Oritamu, have been a pure soul for over 35 years. I expect my fairy will arrive any day now. <laughs> if you say so. So there's that done. Uh, we'll talk to you. And just a pinch of love. <laughs> oh, my darling, you have the most perfect timing. I'm experimenting with my, the recipe for a creamy heart soup as we speak. I just add a volt fruit, plus a hydromelon, and then a little fresh milk. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without a, the spiritual core of the dish, a hearty radish. Then we stew. <laughs> if you just wait a moment, it'll be ready. Oh, here we go. Guess she's gonna make a meal for us. Oh no, <laughs> dubious food. Oh, 
oh no, maybe monster guts aren't a great secret ingredient. But I'm sure even when the results aren't perfect, my darling will be ha happily eat anything I make for him. This really is really packed full by love. I guess that is the most important ingredient is love, right? <laughs> oh no, I've come a long way. Oh, maybe this is it over here? I really want to go back, but I'm worried about traveling. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I was so lost in thought that I didn't notice you. Originally, I came here to share my prize recipes with people. With that done, I was going to head home, but I've heard some scary rumors. Mm. Apparently, the Yiga clan has been spotted behind a waterfall along the road in Gerudo Canyon. They've got to be up to no good in there. <sighs> How can I head back with that weighing on my mind? Not sure. And then we, of course, have like some kind of recipe, which seems to be tomatoes, rock salt, and milk. Interesting. Okay, what's going on around here? Have I talked to you? Why? Why do they always come to talk to me when I'm alone? Ugh. I should have done the canteen, gone to the canteen with Pratana. I'm nowhere near ready to talk to a foe yet. So, time to use the tried and true strategy of pretending not to notice him. Sorry. Why? Why do they always? Okay, so I'm not gonna say anything more. <laughs> Thought that maybe we could push the conversation a little bit farther. So what more can we do here? We can check out the canteen for sure. There's still a lot here in Gerudo Town I want to explore and sort of just see how things have changed. A lot of people enjoying the canteen and I want to be one of them. So get up this way and I guess talk to you. I heard all about what you did, Vo. They're saying you fought to save the town. You and your thin frame have more than exceeded my expectations. Well done. Because of you, I was able to return to my canteen. Sark so. Let me offer you something for all your help. The first drink is on the house. From Vevi to Vaba, everyone can enjoy the special version of my signature drink, Noble Pursuit. A drink, please. <laughs> ha, I like your energy. Give me just one second here. Whoa, that sounds very cool. Here you go, sorry for the wait. Noble Pursuit, a popular fruit juice in Gerudo Town. Its tropical flavor will cheer you right up. Mm. It took some serious work, but I'm really proud of the special version of Noble Pursuit that I came up with. I was inspired when I heard that a new Vi was going to be c coming to town. The drink is full of all the vitamins and minerals you need to take on a har harsh desert day. It, it's, it, it'll really boost your energy. If you like it, by all means, come back and get some more. Oh, but only the first, the first one is free. I'll be happy to make another for you in the future, but it'll cost 20 rupees. Gotcha, well that's cool. My signature is your drink, Noble Pursuit. It's full of all the vitamins and minerals you need to take on a harsh, set or a harsh desert day. Ooh. I even incorporate special locally sourced ice into the recipe. It makes the drink cool and refreshing. Ah. Only 20 rupees for a glass. Locally sourced mm. ice? The ice comes from the ice house north of town. Oh. They gather the snow melt from the Grudo Highlands to make the ice there. It really brings out the flavor of the drink. But the deliveries have slowed down lately. I wonder if the higher temperatures in the desert have anything to do with that. <sighs> well, what are you thinking? Only 20 rupees for a glass noble pursuit. How about it? Want to gulp one down? I already have one. <laughs> I put my all into making this new version of my signature drink when I heard the Vi was coming. I hope you'll support it too. <gasps> that reminds me, I heard of a new Vi would be coming into town. Oh, I mean, in addition now, glad. I haven't seen her though. I guess she hasn't arrived yet. Mm -hmm. Supposedly she's coming here from an, a place called Akala. I wonder how far away that is. Interesting, a new vibe from Akala. Uh. Just thinking about a Vo being here, of all places, has me pretty rattled. But you know what would help me keep calm? A nice, delicious beverage. Uh. One noble pursuit, please. Hmm. Pratana, don't use my canteen as a place to hole up. I hope when the time comes, you find a Vo who can mix noble pursuits for you. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, it looks like we have another new recipe on the wall over there. Gotta keep that in mind. And of course, a couple more friendly faces to talk to here. Mm. My back is so sore. <sighs> that stupid weird orb was a terrible thing to rust against. <laughs> Meanwhile, these sofas are the absolute best. If I could, I would sit here forever. <sighs> Most everyone has been avoiding eye contact with this foe, including me. What orb are they talking about? They've been leaning against an orb? Uh, Where exactly is that? <laughs> you know, these sofas are absolute best if I could, I'd see, okay. I get it, but where is that orb? I need that orb. I don't quite see it in here. So it's around somewhere. Eventually we're gonna have to make our way through all that. But I guess for now, no such luck. 
Okay, at the least I know that there are some more on the other side we can chat with. I know that there is the sand seal over there too. Did we go into this building? Oh, we can't, Never mind. A little bit of a mystery. Oh yeah, we did. I'm getting a little turned around though then. Cause shouldn't there be, yeah, right over here. Okay, so if I go through this way, I can sort of just cut the corner. Not seeing too much on this side. Wasn't there a, time for the training area? A long last, it feels like the battle is over. We made it through, despite injuries and setbacks. But there's no time to relax. I should probably head to the training area at the Southern Oasis. Oh. What, did you lose your map? It's an oasis, and it is it is south of here. The name says as much. Water is a rare commodity in the desert, and while the place isn't exactly a tourist hotspot, we grew to enjoy it well enough. It's finally surprising, it's actually surprisingly far away. You might want to rent a sand seal from the rental shop to make the trek easier. Ah, ah it's a training facility that Lady Riju set up for the town guards to use for training. Mm. For example, the battles against Gibdos showed me that my stamina and ability to adapt could use some work. Once I'm done here, I'm thinking of heading out there and working on that. Hmm, that place is meant for just a Gerudo, technically. I imagine you'd be allowed to use it though. You did fight alongside us. So maybe that's what we'll get to in today's episode as we'll try to get to that training center. You two I wanted to talk to because apparently there was somebody really annoying or something according to the person on the other side. So this is finally a quest to start. I heard there's a place in the desert with huge statues that are all facing each other. Have any of your customers ever mentioned seeing something like that while they're surfing the dunes? Hmm, hard to say. The desert has its own share of statues and ruins, and of course the upheaval really changed things too. Do you have any more information to go on? Maybe a map or something? Uh. I did have one, but the wind caught it and blew it off to who knows where. I know for sure that it's in the eastern part of the desert though. Like I said, the huge statues face each other. Mm. It helps to know it's in the east, but well, the desert is really, really big. Uh. Ah, a customer. Sorry, I need to get back to work. If you figure out where you need to go, come back and see me. I'll be happy to run a sand seal to you for the trip. To the ruins. Pokey wants to investigate some ruins where huge statues face each other. However, the, she lost the map that showed the location of the ruins, so she's in, in a tough spot. Saba. Hey, you, you look like you've done your fair, fair share of exploring. Have you ever seen massive ruins with huge statues facing each other? It'd be in the eastern part of the desert, I think. I lost my map, so I don't exactly know where they are. Does that sound familiar? If you know what I'm talking about, I'd appreciate it if you could take me there on a sleigh seal. Explorations ex expenses were paid in advance, so I'd obviously reward you if you helped me. Uh, maybe at some point, I don't know if right now is the best time. I think I might know what she's talking about from Breath of the Wild, if I'm remembering correctly, but maybe not. Mm. No, no, that's okay. It's a minor location that most Gerudo don't know about, so it'd be silly to expect a Hylian to be able to take me. So it's to the east of here? Yeah, I think it's this. This is something we've been to before in Breath of the Wild. Mm. That customer seemed to be having a really rough time. I wish there was somebody we could, I could help, but if she doesn't even know where she wants to go, there isn't much I can do. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my sand seal rental shop. You can rent a sand seal from here. Sand seals can breeze through the desert with ease and are an essential way to get around. And all my trained ones have been cooped up in the shelter for a while, so they're full of energy and ready to go. Okay, so we know all about that. I'm going to, um, are sure you okay without a sand seal? If you go for a casual stroll in the desert at this time of night, you'll freeze in no time. Is it nighttime? Uh, it's it's 5 p.m., so I guess it's not quite the evening, but not really nighttime. Anyways, I did want to make my way to the front real fast. Uh, at least we can finally see the sky again. I'm not going to miss the sand shroud one bit. I've heard all there is to hear about what happened. You were involved, weren't you? The chief must have foreseen what was going to happen early on. That would explain why she invited you here. She was only a Vevi when I was in charge of protecting her predecessor. But sometimes between that then and now, she grew into the best fi among all of us. Aww. It looks like maybe, just maybe, this old soldier might just be able to finally relax. I'm glad. Oh, here's one of them. Okay, so I, I, I see that there's another one here. Ooh, sparkly. Ah, it's the special bow. Hey, look at this. Hi. Isn't this orb great? After the sand shroud went away, I came outside and found it lying right here. Mama says it's weird, but you agree it's cute, right? It's my very own treasure. I want this orb. Huh? No way, finders keepers. It takes a special bow though to see what a, a special orb this is. Aww. If you like it that much, I guess I could lend it to you. 
on one condition. You gotta play with, I mean, challenge me for it. Beat me and it's yours. So, are you ready for a game? Challenge accepted. That's what I like to hear, Dahlia's game. But we can't face off here, let's go to the shelter. Interesting. What are we gonna face off with? Ah. Here we are. Everybody's gone back to the surface, so I get to use the shelter as my own playground. Here's the game. I'm going to hide a stuffed sand seal, seal doll somewhere here. Yeah. If you find it before the time runs out, you win. Okay, now close your eyes for a minute while I hide it. Aww. Where should I hide it? I've gotta pick a spot fast. Ah. Yikes, that was close. This is the way out of the shelter into some caves, and Mama says I'm not allowed there. Okay, you can open your eyes now. That's a good hint. <laughs> Hee -hee. I found the perfect hiding spot. Good luck figuring out where I put the stuffed sand seal doll. Are you ready to go? Then start. Three, two, one, and go. So, let's read this update. You accept the Dahlia's challenge. If you can find the stuffed sand seal hidden in the shelter before time runs out, you win. Okay, they said it was, oh, not this way, not this way. We have a minute and 20 seconds. It's actually quite a lot of time. Um, I think out here, because they said that they were not allowed this way. So there it is, there it is. Found it. <whistles> Finished. Not too bad. Ooh. Oh, you found it. Good job, you win. I'll see you back at the entrance to the shelter, okay? Was that just round one, or did we win everything? Ooh. Wow, how'd you find it? I'll undo the orb now, just like I promised, so you can play with it as much as you want. <laughs> that game was so much fun. It reminds me of something Mrs. Shy told me. If there's a foe I have fun hanging out with, then he's a very special foe indeed. Huh? See, I knew right from the start that you were a special foe. Let's play together again sometime. That was fun, Dahlia's game complete. You challenged Dahlia and won. She's willing to let you use her treasured orb anytime you like. In addition, you can challenge her out of her game as many times as you want from now on, as long as she isn't busy. Gotcha, I don't think I need to do the challenge again. So the other ball is still here, that's three of them. We'd have to find like another three and I really have no clue where they'd be at the moment. So I think it's something we'll slowly explore. I'm sure we'll be coming back to every town to get extra quests done sooner or later. But I guess for right now, I've done just about everything I wanna do in Gerudo Town. We got three, we, we got familiar with a lot of things. I don't see any other characters that need our attention. It's easy to sort of miss details around here so I could be missing even more, but uh, Oh, the gem store. I don't think I checked this out. This is where the accessories are. Bow accessories, huh? Hmm, so this is a bow. Does yours look to be about, oh yeah, we read, or we talked to you before. Um, let me know if there's any accessories. Catch your eye, I'm ready and eager to make adjustments to them for you. The fit is so important after all. If the shop owner was here, she'd be able to make more pieces, I bet. She went on a while ago, if she hasn't gone lost somewhere. Yeah, we talked about that before. Come back soon, we're the only place in the whole world that makes the accessories. Nobody else is here. They're so, so expensive, but I definitely wanna get some of these soon, um, cause it just seems like they'd be really helpful. Swim speed up, shock resistance, heat resistance. These all seem so great. So I definitely wanna get those sooner rather than later. So out here in the front of Gerudo Town, we can talk to a few of you. The battle was fierce, but in the end, we paid them back for our earlier failures. Unfortunately, the spear I made, the one with a fire fruit attached to it, broke during the fight. No lives were lost, though. A spear is a small price to pay, all things considered. <laughs> While foe and general are not allowed to enter the town, you helped us fight off the recent threat. Pass through with your head held high. And finally, Bravo. over here. Mm. I've seen my share of unexpected things ever since I became a soldier. But, so ten. To think I would see the day a Vo was allowed to come and go in town as they please. I guess so. Speaking of Vo, looks like uh, Kado cannot get in. Is Lady Impa done yet? Ooh. Oh, Link, I see you've journeyed here as well. Ooh. Our investigation of the geoglyphs has brought us to Gerudo Town. The thing is, no Vo allowed. That's what they said as they stubbornly denied me entrance. Lady Impa is in town gathering information right now. That means there's nothing for me to do, but while I'll wait out, the hours guarding the balloon. I can't believe I was forced to leave Lady Impa's side. How mortifying that I can't fulfill my duty of protecting her. Oh, oh Lady Impa, please come back soon. All right, well, I think she'll be okay. I do want to sneak into one of these sand seals. I don't know if I really have the right gear for it. I don't have any of the gear that would make me sneak here, right? I do have a potion that might help with that. Yeah, I have a sneaky, a sneaky elixir. Maybe I should get that, because I know that some of this gear can make more no noise. So maybe I could do that and hop on a sand seal, because I really do want to bring them to the south. 
because wasn't there yeah, the Southern Oasis? I want to make a marker here. I remember blue marker. That's what I want to get to and just sort of check out the training grounds there for the rest of today. Okay, almost there, almost there. Be really careful, be really quiet. If this doesn't work, we'll go run one. Come on, come on. Grab, gotcha. Oh, here we go. All right, so we're moving. I need to follow the blue one, so we're sort of going the wrong way here. All right, dash, dash, dash. That's so cool that we call one though. Awesome, you can see there's some monsters out that way. Whoa, wait a minute. Are they new? Okay, they're Boca Blitz. Whoa, wait a minute, we got a purple one? If I were to hop off of you, you're gonna leave. So I'll come back to that. A purple one's new. Or it's the purple and white one. I forget what they're called, but they're like the, the highest difficulty for now. Very intense. All right, well, well, they're not going anywhere. We'll come back for them. For right now, I wanna head this way and try to get to the training grounds. Maybe we can get even stronger around here. Hey. Be able to fight them even better. And there's a shrine out this way too, so I think it'll work out pretty well. There's another shrine way over there too, so the shrines aren't too far from each other. We're getting there, slowly but surely. You can see a big uh, campfire over here too. Come on, keep it moving. This uh, sand seal is doing a good job for us out. Oh, and there's also you over here. I'm just gonna run straight into you, ready? And boom, that didn't do anything. Okay, whoa. Uh, do I really need to fight you? You're just an electric one. I, I fought the electric ones before. It is becoming unbearably cold now that the nighttime's rolling in, so I'll put on the pants. And I think, you know what, we're, we're just about here. So I'll let you go. It was nice seeing you. I think we fought you before over here. Yeah, electric, okay, 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 so we've already fought you. I don't wanna fight you again. Okay, Um, help me out, guys, <laughs> if, if you're interested in doing that. Okay, that helps out a little bit. Maybe I can just make some distance. Whoa, we got some tires over here. That's right, I can always just build my own vehicle through the desert. It looks like we've reached the Southern Oasis travel or training area one way or another. If I can just get up here and avoid those offers, I just don't wanna fight it right now. I got plenty of other stuff going on. All right, we've reached the top, but I don't see any training around here. Is it just the shrine? I thought it'd be more, maybe it is. For right now, let's go to the Karahatag Shrine and get it done. So we've made it to another shrine, Drifting Flame, the Karahatag Shrine. How do we get through this? I guess we'll need this torch. We pick up the torch, the door just won't magically open. What do we do with this thing? Up there? Oh, yeah, awesome, that worked. Where did our, oh, there it goes. Let me pick that back up. The flame is still flaming. So that's good, but I, I think I'll just need to get up here. If you don't mind, Link, there you go. So pressing this button lowers that whole platform for one reason or another. Okay. Oh, you know what? I mean, huh. I'm a little confused on what I do here, because couldn't I, oh yeah, I could just pick this up. Why would I need to stay on the button? Couldn't I just, is this lighting it? I don't know. I don't think it is. It's hard to tell if this is doing anything. Um, oh no, wait, wait, bring that back down, bring it up here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna put it right there for now, back up a little bit. I don't see anything up there is the thing. Am I getting this all wrong? It could be. Oh, you know what? If we do this, maybe it'll launch upwards. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So what we need to do is those will lower when the button's pressed. If I just wait this like this, and then wait right here, and then wait right here. And then what we do is we leave it just like that. I go over this way. Is this within range? It okay. is, oh that's cool that it's within range. Uh, so that should go out like that. And I think it's lit up, I would hope so. Hard to tell from this angle. 
Uh, that one might not actually be lined up over there. Why is it, I, did I really take that long? Or maybe it's stuck. Is it stuck? I think it was stuck. Weird. Um, let me try that again. So it would've been like, just like this. And I move it over here. And then I move it over here. <laughs> is that good enough? Cause I think it's pathway got blocked, so it just sort of stood there. So I'm going to hit this again. Okay, so will it move or no? Okay, now it's following the path, and then once it gets here, activate it again, please. No, come on, you're kidding me. Oh, that's that's really weird. I, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. So I'm gonna try this again, just let it, you know, touch it slightly like that, and then let it all lower and move. Because it gets stuck on stuff, and that's not good. So, uh, I'm running out of time here. Wait, did it work? Okay, so maybe I, I thought I had to roll like them all three at once. I guess I didn't as long as they all eventually get lit. That seems like it worked. The question is, I haven't found the treasure chest for this area. I don't think we're quite done. Is there anything like down here, maybe? Oh, right down this way, maybe. Aha, we found it, so it wasn't that bad to find. Go ahead and grab whatever is in here. It is a mighty construct bow with attack of plus six. Don't mind if I do. I guess we'll drop one of the Gerudo bows. We have many of those. Cool, back up we go. And we'll get out of here. I think we've done everything else we needed to do. So that was pretty cool. Definitely a weird one. I, I just don't know if I overcomplicated it. It seems like I did. But that is a, another shrine done. One step closer to getting them all. So with that done, I'm really confused on like what exactly the training area is. I don't see any training happening here. Maybe it's more so this spot? Okay. Maybe we have a lead. I thought there'd be Gerudo here. Okay, over here. Oh, there they are. I've been looking for you guys. I wanted to join in. The Southern Oasis training area. There's only one person here. Uh, that would be a little bit more of a party. Things are looking good. Hi. Oh, I remember you. You're the one who fought alongside our soldiers. That is a, this is a training area for Gerudo warriors. The harsh program here requires stamina, willpower, and smarts to cross the desert. Oh. Welcome to the starting line for the desert race. I'm here to oversee the desert race and give advice to any challengers. Up to now, only Gerudo warriors are allowed to undergo the training this rough. <laughs> but since you've already proven yourself in battle, we'll make an exception for you. We ask 10 rupees per attempt as a training fee. Are you ready to try the desert race? Let me hear the rules. Ooh. The rules of the desert race are simple. Pass through the seven arches before reaching the goal. The desert is a hard is hard on a runner. You shouldn't hesitate to use whatever advantages you can think of. Ooh. However, if you stray too far off course or cross the finish line without passing through all the arches, you fail. There's also a time limit of three minutes and 30 seconds. I don't want anyone staying out for too long in the desert conditions. Oh. If you can beat the record, there's some traditional Gerudo cloth in it for you. Also, it'll cost 10 rupees per attempt. Are you ready to give it a try? Not quite yet, because I think I have an idea. Oh well, I thought you had it in you. It, you can still come by whenever you feel up to the challenge. Well, right behind here, what do you know? There's a whole collection of things I can build with, and I think we'll do exactly just that. So we have this sled thing, just like this. Uh, I don't know if there's enough tires. I only see two. I have to provide the other two. Uh, Let's see, let's do this. We want it to go this way, right? I mean, would it even, that's not what I wanted, <laughs> come on. Uh, yeah, like that, perfect. Would this work? Would this hold balance if I were to just, arrow's gotta face this way. Just like that. Okay, maybe, if this was on the back of it, more so, maybe it would just hold steady. Okay, well that's not quite what I was looking for. Something like that. <laughs> would this work or am I being silly? Uh, it's sorta of working, it drags a little. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I can spawn in my own wheels to make this a little bit more stable. Where can I put them though, you know? um. 
what kind of wheels do I have right now? I do have 10 more of these big wheels. We also have some of the smaller wheels, but I don't think they'd be good for the desert train. So I think I just wiggle this free and try to attach it to the front like this. That sort of works. And then I spawn in two more. So not these, but I take out this device, take out another, and keep going with this. We're winning this desert race. That's for sure. So I need to do the same thing on this other side. Got it. No, come on. Uh, like that. Almost? Almost. Just a little bit more then. Right there, perfect. It's not the most even thing, but it looks so cool. Whoa, look at us go. So I need to turn this around. Because I think we'd be able to get through everything in time with something like this, right? I would sure hope so. So, I have that there. If we uh, talk to you again, I'm ready to take this race on, if you are. Ooh. It's 10 rupees per temp. Are you ready to try the desert race? Let's see this. Oh. Very well. From now on, soldier, you're at my mercy. Oh no. Uh, hope you're ready, because I'm going to run you ragged. Ooh. But first, some ground rules. In the desert race, you must pass through seven arches around the desert before reaching the goal. The desert is hard on a runner. You shouldn't hesitate to use whatever advantage you can Ooh. think of. However, if you stray too far off the course or cross the finish line without passing through all the arches, you fail. There's also a time limit of three minutes and 30 seconds. I don't want anyone staying out for too long in the desert conditions. Oh. If you can meet the record, there's some traditional Gruta cloth in it for you. Wait here while I get the arches ready. It shouldn't be long. Okay, let's give this a try. I hope that with you know the things I've crafted, Ooh. Ooh, there it is. The first arch is the one close by. Once you go through that, you have to take the rest of the arches in the desert in order. Ooh. Keep in mind, oh no. Keep in mind that the arch on the rocky hill gets harder to see as you get closer. You can't see the finish line from here, but if you follow the arches in order, you'll come across it eventually. Oh. So then, ready to get running? The clock starts once you go through the first arch. Get ready and start your at your own leisure. Expect a lot from you. Okay, I'm giving it a try, start. Oh man, so this won't be perfect, but I guess it's something. Here, go, 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 go. I mean, we have three and a half minutes, and I guess for my plan for the arch, this thing's not gonna be able to make it up that, so I guess I should, I mean, there's one of them. There were seven in total, so maybe I should just climb up that one and then just hop back onto the car. That's my best bet, I think. All right, well. We're already 30 seconds through our three and a half minutes. Oh, and the sand is sort of moving over here. Oh no. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, you wait here then, and then I'll just run through. That's even worse. That's even worse. Uh, what do I do? Here. Uh, that counts. Okay. Uh, good enough. Wait, wait. Let me get back in my car. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be. Come on, run, run, run. I just need to, just need to get, get back on top. Oh man. Okay, run over here, drive, whatever I need to do. I guess I need like a speed boosted car. This is just not enough. I don't know if we can get across all this. It's messy. Ooh, come on, no! We're veering off path. What do I do about this? I don't know. Um, oh man, it is a mess. Uh, okay, I think it's time for drastic measures. Whenever I get stuck on something personally, I just strap rockets to it. That's usually my plan. So let's flip this around. Let's uh, pause the game, get some rockets on this thing. <laughs> Cause I desperately need them. I don't know how else we get across the sand, you know? I mean, I guess we can try to make a flying machine instead. I think that maybe flying would just make all this. Uh, what are you, can you please leave me alone? I'm clearly in the middle of something important. Please leave me alone. Uh, no, you activated my rocket. Uh oh, see ya. That is the worst ever. I needed that rocket. Uh, take out a vice. I need to attach it onto this. And we gotta be quick with this. We're running out of time. All right, ready? Drive, 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 drive. Go, 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 go. This might work. Ah, okay, just go through, just go through, just go through, just go through. Just go through, that's it, that counts. But I only have a minute and a half left to get rid of, rid of the, or go through the rest of it. I don't know if that's gonna work at all. Come on, run, run, run. I gotta get back onto my car. Will the rocket work again? It will, 
Whoa, it will. Oh, now it's gone. That sort of kills the fun. Okay, we're, we're doing a wheelie. Oh my goodness. This is not gonna work. Get me on my car, please. Control. So I think this is not the answer. I need to make a, a flying machine next time so we can just fly over all this nonsense. Jeez, it's a little ridiculous, right? We're getting through a little bit more, but this is where it gets stressful because I just don't know if I have enough time. I really don't. We have 30 seconds left over. I can get up this hill, but those first few steps are just such a pain. So I'll get up here. Those first three ones, I just, I can't get through very fast like that with all that quicksand. It's just too much, but I'll, I'll see at least what my record can be here. That's four of them. And then in theory, I would just have to, uh, oh, I couldn't, three more of them in 10 seconds, not possible. So that's not how we wanna do this one. That's okay. We'll get called back for now. Yo. Hey you, what was that half hour to jog out there? This is serious training, not a picnic in the dunes. You failed this attempt. Get back here on the double. Oh no. Ooh. What do you think you're doing? On a real mission, the scavengers would be picking your bones clean. At least he's safe. That's what matters. <laughs> she cares after all. In the desert, even a little carelessness can cost you your life. If you've learned from this mistake, are you ready for another attempt? Not quite yet. Let me Ooh. make a better vehicle. Very well. I'll be here if you if you feel like trying again. It's my duty to support you until you can cross the desert race finish line. So this might not work out, but I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Because if I make one of these, it doesn't really go anywhere. I tried to attach wheels to it, and that didn't really change anything either. But what if I put it right here? Okay. Uh, try that again. But it, like, I need to balance it on top. <laughs> uh, might be easier said than done. And even then, how I would, how would I stay on top of it when that happens? That's another thing I'm not really sure of. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out a solution to this, but it won't really take off from here. If I put wheels on the bottom of it, it seems that makes it too heavy for it to even start flying. So at that point, I might as well just have the car, but. I don't know, they wanna put this stuff out here for no reason, right? Like, that's just where it feels weird. Um, if I attach this, I don't think it's gonna work very well. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really what I want. Uh, no, don't squish me! <laughs> okay, I don't know what I do. Oh, this is the smoothest controlling one yet. Whoa, okay, so maybe if I utilize the sled to actually be a sled, I think the ultimate test would be bringing it out this way. So let's maybe chill out here for a second. Let my uh, battery restore for a second. Oh, I'm sliding back down, sliding back down. Ooh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> okay, so this one is very weak to certain situations, but if I go over this sand, it's hitting it like a champ, actually. Okay, I think this is our setup. I tried a lot of things. I experimented a lot with this one, but I think this is probably our best bet then. Okay, well, good to know. Oh, and if I pull back, whoa, now we're just sliding, we. <laughs> okay, so actually using the sled like the sled is actually helping out a lot. And on our way downhill, as you can see, it works out just fine. So I think this is what we need. So we'll just bring this all the way down. We're almost there. And I'll probably wanna um, use up some extra battery charges here. So we'll just go uh, here. Go all the way by type. So that can bring it all the way over here. And just have a bunch of these. There we go. Let's do like three full batteries. I know I need to upgrade my stuff soon. We've been busy, but uh, you can see I was really experimenting with a lot of stuff. Oh, some of it disappeared. Whoa, a lot of it disappeared. That's crazy. Okay. We'll get this right here. I will talk to you and we'll give this another go. This has got to be it this time. Let's do this. Your attempt didn't reflect so well on you. Make sure you, you, you're good and ready this time. Wait here while I get the arches ready. It shouldn't be long. Okay, I'm determined to make this one work. <laughs> really determined. Ooh. The first arch is the one close by. Okay. Ooh. So we know about all this. I'm ready to go. Hopefully we can win. Start. Picking up some good speed. We're already going like way faster than we were with the wheels. The wheels were just way too slow. The turning on this, of course, isn't preferable, but we can keep that in mind and just control things as fast as we can. But this is still so much faster. 
It's like not even a comparison. It's not the easiest on spots like this, but then we can start going downhill. Way easier. And the thing I'm worried about is this section coming up. Oh, we're taking some damage because, oh my gosh, it's too hot out. I don't have any food to stop that, so we're just gonna have to leave it. That's three of them down. And record time so far. <laughs> what I think I might wanna do is just angle the sled up to go down some other way. See, if I can maybe do this. This could end up being a mistake. I guess we'll see in just a second, but if I can just run up here. It actually isn't too far gone. So we'll do that. I'll run up here as fast as I can to get to the next arch. I still have two and a half minutes here. So if I just really hustle with it, right there, got it. Go, 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 go through this arch and then we have to get back over. Arch number four. Where's my staff? Oh no, there's a big sand pit. No, 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 no. No, don't tell me it's gone. I didn't see the sand pit. It's gone. Uh-oh. No way! I didn't see that there. You're kidding me. That is the worst. Our only chance here then is the sand seal. Do we have any more sneaky potions? I don't think we do. At this point, I guess getting rid of all of our clothes would help us be sneakier. We definitely don't have anything that would keep us sneakier, sneakier than we currently are. So if we can just tiptoe over while we're actively taking damage from the fire, and I can just hop in this sand seal. Please, 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 please let me be able to get this. No, come on. This game is pure evil sometimes. I just wanted to just ride my stuff. Okay, wait, wait, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry I complained. I'll never complain again. Just bring me there, bring me there. I'm still getting hurt by the uh, the heat. But maybe we can just dash, come on. We have a minute and a half to get through these next two. Come on, come on, keep it going, Sand Seal. You got it. Here's another one. Dash, dash, dash. Keep it moving, don't fall in there! No, no! Ah! Oh, these are all over the place. This is so dangerous. Come on, keep it going, buddy, you can do it. I need to eat up some apples or something soon here in a second. Oh, come on. Whoa, whoa! We're bouncing all over the place, don't fall into there. We are almost done, the finish line is right there. Every possible wrong thing that could have happened happened and we still made it. There we go, wow. Well done, soldier. Come back here so we can go over the results. Oh man, I need a breather. Ooh. Your time was 2.38.30. Oh. Hey, not bad. The desert race is a struggle between your body's limits and the harsh desert environment. Even among us Gerudo soldiers, there aren't, as, aren't many who can finish the race. Ooh. To even approach Captain Teak's record is an honorable showing. This is your reward. Take it with pride. Hmm. Mm. I want to give you a Gerudo shield, but there's no room for it in that pouch of yours. How about five arrows instead? Uh, I'll take the arrows, because I already have a Gerudo shield. Okay, five arrows, there you Ooh. go. Now that you've finished a run, you should aim to beat the Gerudo soldier record at 230. Maybe some other time, 230. I got really close, I was only eight seconds off, so maybe if I kept my sled that entire time, it would have been fine. Um, Some other time, Ooh. I'll be waiting for your next attempt. Cool, so we did a lot in today's episode. We're boiling out here. I think we'll just aim to head back to, uh, here, we'll, we'll go back to uh, Karakara Bazaar for now. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be going back to Lookout Landing next episode to see what else we're doing, you know? Um, we had a lot of fun out here. It was definitely an interesting time. That's not what I was expecting here for sure, but hey, I'm glad I got through it and we experienced something different. <laughs> So what will be waiting for us at Lookout Landing now that we have solved all of the regional phenomena? I can only wonder. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.